stupid, stupid, stupid. Did I mention that you guys are stupid? I hope you're watching this. You guys are stupid. You shouldn't own horses. Dumb. Hey, bitch, and welcome back to me talking about people I hate. So you guys, today we are back with another Raleigh Reacts video. If you are new to my Raleigh Reacts videos, these are videos where I react to animal abuse, more specifically horse abuse, and just give my unprofessional opinion on the matter. <laughs> All of these videos are submission based, so if you would like to send me a video to react to, you can send it to raleighreacts at gmail.com right up there on the screen and in the description down below. Just a disclaimer, these people are not bad people, they just do bad things, and these videos are just my opinion. Feel free to leave your opinion in the comments below. One last thing before we get into this video, wanted to push my Patreon and YouTube members on you guys just because I love you so much. If you guys support me by becoming a YouTube member or a Patreon supporter, you guys are truly the best and really keeping this channel going. If you are unfamiliar, I post four videos a month on Patreon and YouTube members. I really love the videos that I post. It's mostly videos of me out of the barn, riding, training, vlogs, even helping you guys. Like my newest video is going to be on horse nutrition. So definitely head over there if you're interested in some exclusive horse videos and content from this channel. But let's get into it. We got a lot of videos to react to today, some of which look incredibly depressing. <laughs> Horse runs loose for miles and then gets hit by a car. Is it gonna be the rider's fault? <laughs> Almost definitely. Arabian horse running full canter down the 101 highway. <laughs> oh my God, this this made it on the news? After getting loose at Dog Beach in Del Mar Sunday morning. Most people wondered how this horse ran for miles without tiring, and now we're learning the answer. Bliss, a female Arabian, is in the middle of training for a distance race, a 50 miler that was coming up in just a few months. Chasing this horse up the course highway the whole time it's on the wrong side with cars coming with all these people in different shops and restaurants going, was that a horse that just went by? Leora Lang was there from the very beginning and took pictures and video of the incident, showing three riders attempting to swim their horses through the Del Mar River mouth. The riders were training their horses to cross water barriers. No, no, Jesus, Jesus, no. <laughs> No, no, you don't train your horse to cross water barriers by riding them into the ocean. That is... <laughs> Girl, what did you think was going to happen? I'm so glad that before I turned this video on, I guessed that the rider was going to be at fault because the rider could not be any more at fault <laughs> if she tried. Who the fuck thinks that it's a responsible thing to ride their horse into the fucking ocean? Whenever I see people riding their horses in the ocean, it annoys me so bad because people don't understand how dangerous taking a horse out into the ocean actually is. First of all, if you don't know how a horse swims, then you shouldn't be taking a horse into water, period. And most people don't understand how horses are able to swim and stay afloat. It's very difficult for a horse to swim. So the way that they manage to stay afloat is through constant movement. Horses have to constantly be moving underwater and, and propelling themselves in a forward motion in order to swim. So as soon as you take a horse into water and then you see riders that are pulling back on the horse's face or they're like weighing the horse down as soon as the horse can't move forward then the horse starts to sink so that's one of the reasons why you see so many horses drown when their riders take them into lakes rivers oceans and you see so many horses that actually end up drowning in the water because the rider doesn't allow them to move properly to be able to swim. Not to mention that there is a specific way that you teach horses to approach water and go into water. It is not like this. And there is never a situation where a horse is going to be doing an endurance run where they're going to be swimming out into the middle of the ocean, into international waters. 
So why this rider thought that it was a good idea to take her horse and swim it out into the ocean, I have no idea. That is so unbelievably dangerous and reckless and stupid, and you should not own a horse. I mean, honestly, it actually makes me really mad that this person would even think that that was a responsible thing to do. And not just one person did it, two other people did it. They were secure in their riding. She gave them some tips and they all went forward to it. Then things went south. They basically were doing fine. And then the third horse, I want to say maybe as it came down in the water. Okay, perfect photo. Sorry, I know I keep pausing it. But so the horse that got off is the horse that's on the far left, the one that is underwater. I guarantee you. I guarantee you what happened is the rider pulled back on the horse's reins, causing the horse to sink into the water and start drowning. And then the horse started panicking and then threw the rider off and, and managed to make its way back to shore and run away. How much you want to bet? How, look at this. The horse is literally completely underwater in this photo. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Did I mention that you guys are stupid? I hope you're watching this. You guys are stupid. You shouldn't own horses. Dumb. And went into the deep, a little bit of the wave might have hit it in the face. The horse was heading out to sea until others tried to help. A surfer comes in and he like comes towards the horse trying to scare him maybe to come back towards land. And maybe it worked because the horse shortly thereafter was coming towards the trainer, but just bolted right past the trainer. Yeah, I wonder why the horse bolted past the trainer. Maybe it's because the horse literally almost died in the ocean and has completely lost trust in you and whatever kind of training you were doing. Notice how they didn't interview the rider or the trainer yeah, probably because they're super embarrassed that this happened because this is negligence on so many levels. Eventually, the horse ran roughly six miles until it slammed into this Mercedes Benz in Encinitas. A GoFundMe page has been set up for Bliss's recovery and thousands of dollars have already been raised. I've had a horse bolt with me on it before and you know, this just doesn't stop. It goes when it bolts. The driver of that Mercedes did suffer some head trauma when Bliss slammed into the side of her car. As for Bliss, she's on the mend and is expected to be okay as well. Um, oh my God. Okay, so many things. First of all, if I was the Mercedes driver, I would sue them. Imagine if the horse had jumped onto somebody's car and killed them and killed multiple people inside. This is so unbelievably reckless and stupid that it actually makes me mad. Like I'm mad for these people who got hit by this horse. I mean, honestly, it sounds really horrible, but I don't even really care about the horse in this situation. Obviously, the horse is a victim too, but I'm more upset about the people in the Mercedes. I mean, the woman has head damage because some idiot was recklessly riding her horse. And I feel bad for the horse too. The horse is just as much of a victim because the horse was probably scared and was drowning in the water. All that this proves is whoever owns this horse is a terrible person and a neglectful owner. And, and just a complete idiot. And I hope that they sue her. And the audacity of somebody like this to start a GoFundMe, this type of stuff takes away from people who really are victims and who really do need money to help them in situations in their life. This woman is a negligent horse owner begging for money because her horse got injured in a situation that she put her horse in. And then she wants to go on the internet and run and cry victim. When horseback riding goes wrong. No, why is mine avoiding it? Oh my God, come on, go. Ah, no, oh my God, Jackie, Jackie, ah! damn dude Jackie really doesn't care about you at all because <laughs> she's gone she did not come back for you Jackie! firstly I really I mean I don't blame people who get themselves into situations like this I blame 
the riding facilities because you guys know how I feel about nose to butt riding facilities. I think they're horrible. I think that they neglect their animals. I think those animals live a terrible life. They're sitting out in the sun all day, tacked up, carrying people around in tack that doesn't fit them, people who don't know how to ride. It's also dangerous for the general public because these people don't know how to handle a horse. As you can see, horses have a mind of their own. And what do you know? The horse took her into a bush and she started screaming and she's honestly lucky that the horse didn't take off running and throw her and she ended up with a broken neck or a broken arm. I mean, I've seen so many horrible things happen at nose to butt riding facilities like this where people actually have horses take off on them and throw them and they end up with broken bones. I think that people should not go to facilities like this. If you want to learn how to responsibly ride a horse, go to a real riding facility where they'll give you an actual riding lesson. Not something like this. This is just a pay-to-ride place that exploits animals. It's dangerous for the horses and it's dangerous for the people. And you can't really put blame on this girl because she doesn't know any better and she doesn't know how to handle this horse, and this could have ended way worse. I mean, people who do stuff like this are subjected to being paralyzed for the rest of their life if the horse spooks to a fly, and they don't know how to handle that type of situation because they have no balance. Zero. Does not exist. Wow. I mean, that is just straight up animal abuse. Just straight up. Wow. I mean, not only is the horse's tongue tied down, but he's literally choking the horse. I mean, when you have a horse's neck in such a hyperflexed position, even with stuff like roll cur, horse necks that are placed in, in such hyperflexed positions not only causes severe pain and severe stress responses in the horse, but it also inhibits breathing. So when a horse's neck is placed in situations like this where it's being hyper-stressed, the horse is actually having a very difficult time breathing, if not not breathing at all. It really seems like this horse is not breathing and is actually being choked throughout the beginning period of this video. And then the horse literally has such, such a visceral reaction to needing to get air that it just starts freaking out and flailing until the guy finally lets go. I mean, this is literally like if you saw somebody choking a puppy with their bare hands, that's the equivalent of what you're watching in this video. Like, this guy is choking this horse. I don't know why TikTok allows people like this to be on the platform. So all I can say is whoever the fuck this guy is, I will put his account name right here. Go report him. Okay. Stable owner abusing terrified horse. Sandy Hobbs is the owner of Victory Stables and Bible Chapel in Apollo, Pennsylvania. Ugh. Oh my god, I just realized, does she... So the horse has a halter on with a lead rope and the dogs are pulling the lead rope and she has a whip. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I mean, what the fuck is happening? This is the most white trash situation I think I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. <laughs> 
great way to kill a horse. So this situation is very stressful for this horse. Obviously, it would be for any horse. This horse has no idea what's happening. She's beating the horse for literally no reason. And she's got two dogs pulling on the horse's lead rope constantly. I mean, the dogs aren't doing anything either. Like the dogs aren't teaching the horse anything, nor is she teaching the dogs anything. I don't even know what is happening. But this is obviously a very stressful situation for this horse because horses use rearing and falling over as a fight or flight method, which would be flight. Every time I see horses rear up and fall over, it's always the fault of the person in the situation, either the rider or the trainer. It's because you are overstressing that horse and that is the horse's escape. That's how they've learned how to escape a situation or it's a last resort type of thing. Unless you have a horse that has been so horribly abused that it's just a very common response for them to do that. I have seen some horses that regularly rear and fall over because it's a stress response that they've learned from abusive training in their past. But I can tell you one thing. I have never seen a horse that is responsibly trained that has ever reared up and fallen over in any circumstance ever at any point in their life. For example, my horse Link has never done this. If you're putting your horse in a situation where they respond like this, you are so wrong on so many levels because it really takes a lot for a horse to do this. This is so dangerous they can rear up, fall over, hit their head and die. There's plenty of horses that have broken their necks this way. I didn't do it. Doing better. Dude, who the fuck is that bitch? She's doing better. Shut up, Karen. You don't know anything about what you're talking about. Sandy Hobbs, owner of Victory Stables in Apollo, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Yeah, girl, I'm going to be making a video about you real soon. I hope that you actually get charged with animal cruelty for what's going on in this video. Everyone should go <laughs> report this woman. If you actually have a riding facility, like God help those animals. You need to be reported to the local police. Seriously, this is so horrible on so many levels. Like this is just beyond. I don't even know what I don't even know what the fuck she thinks she's doing in this video. I mean, seriously, people who treat animals like this are evil. They're evil. Anyway, guys, I love you so, so much. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on all the videos that I reacted to in the comments down below. Also, don't forget about becoming a YouTube member or following me on Patreon. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.